we're going to talk about the X Server 1.15 release schedule. Um, as you know, the X Server 1.15 was supposed to be released like this week. That was the plan. That was the schedule. Um, about a month ago or so, we were looking at the 1.15 release, and we were looking at all the source code backed up behind the 1.15 release, and we made a couple of kind of personal realizations. The first realization was that 1.15 was really boring. Does anybody have any new features in 1.15 that they're desperate for? What? Touch is not broken. Have, have those patches been backported to 1.14? Yeah, exactly. So there's not any significant new functionality in 1.15 yet. There are a bunch of important bug fixes. Um, uh, like Peter says, the touch stuff is, is working a heck of a lot better. There's a bunch of other bug fixes in other, in other areas of the server. As far as I know, all of the critical bug fixes for stability, security, and usability have been backported to the 1.14 series. And our 1.14 release manager has been doing a good job making minor releases on 1.14 which retains the ABI compatibility of 1.14, unlike 1.15, which seems at this point to be 1.14 with an ABI change. Um, so we were discussing an IRC that maybe the thing to do is to just pend 1.15 until we get a bunch of new stuff merged in. Um, in particular, the stuff that we have pending is we have Eric's rewrite of uh, Zephyr to be XCB-like. Um, what? Julian's rewrite and yeah. And I, I think you deleted many thousands of lines of code. Yes. Which is what we do best at Zork. Um, and then we have, I'm, I'm still working on the DRI3 and present extensions, which, are, which I'll show tomorrow, and I think which are getting pretty close to being mergeable. Um, I'd love to get those in. Uh, there's there's the X Wayland stuff that we'd like to get merged in. Um, what other big pieces are pending right now, waiting for the 1.15 release, that are basically sitting in source code, waiting to get merged until 1.15 is out? Do you have anything, Ajax? Um, I have a pretty decent definition of the PLX server that is pretty much the No. There, there we go. Um, the the big win from it is that the DRI driver interface for this the GLX rewrite, uh, the DRI driver interface becomes something that is just a Mesa implementation detail, and so the server no longer needs to know what a DRI driver looks like. It doesn't need to know what the dispatch table looks like, which is great because we've broken that accidentally a couple times over the years. Um, and also, things like Glamour need to know what kind of GL they're running against in the X server and manage their disp manage the dispatch table explicitly because because be because X is doing it this right. this ugly way. So are there other d d so we have a uh, anybody else have anything else massive they want to get merged into the X server? So there's a, a few patches from some other folks at Intel to enable some like float FB configs and some, some things like that for, for GLX, but they're pretty small. It's like four patches or something. They're, yeah. they're mostly waiting for me and maybe Adam to, to yeah, review. Those, yeah, those, are, those don't sound like a, an ABI, X server ABI change, though. No. no. I'm trying to think of anything else I have that requires an ABI change and some, some portability changes to, or fixing on other DDXs besides the, the standard Unix ones, but um, the GL one is really the big one. Right. The and, right. And as a maintenance thing going forward, it'd be really nice to have well, in particular, one GL implementation. In particular, so. I can't merge DRI3. I don't really want to merge DRI3 until your stuff is done because I don't want to do an X server loader for the DRI3 uh, API to the drivers. And I would like nobody to write another one. So exactly. I think we're in a good place here. So the question is, if we, if we pen the 1.15 release until this stuff is done, what does that make the 1.15 release date look like? How far out do we make it? Well, I 
think if I'm going to change the release date, we should have a new release date. Um, Fedora's beta release for Fedora 20 is October 29th, which is just before Halloween. So that gives us about a month, I guess, to, to land most of the big stuff. And then another, and, and at that point, as long as I've got an externally stable ABI, I don't really care. So I mean, it, if if the driver ABI was was set in stone, and we take bug fixes from then until it w until it's actually set, I think I'm fine. But so if, if, if we're following our usual release schedule, then that would be th that would be the close of our development window in a month, mm -hmm. um, and then probably two months for stabilization and release for the uh, putting the release at the new year. Christmas present, if you like. Sure. <laughs> what does Eric say? Is your is your Zephyr stuff going to be done? It is done, I, isn't it? I'm done with Zephyr, yeah. <laughs> okay. He's done with it. He's <laughs> massively done. The GL stuff is requires some discussion I think we're going to have tomorrow for some of the details. And I don't necessarily need to get it landed, but it would be attractive if we did. I, DRI 3 is waiting for it. Okay. So if, if we want to get DRI, at least DRI 3 and maybe the first version of Present in, then we need to get that stuff done too. Is there anybody else working? Especially if I can get some people to participate with the um, with the the driver parts of it for right. So right now, I'm really cutting into my own talk tomorrow. Um, why, why don't we discuss it tomorrow? Okay. And if if it sounds like it's too much to take tomorrow, then we'll we'll skip that until the next release, and we'll have to bite the bullet on DRI three and and write a DRI three loader. Right, so I, I think that the discussion we need to finish up today is, A, do we want to do 1.15 in the next week or so, just close it down and ship it, or do we want to uh, reopen the merge window for a month, get the pending stuff in, and, and then ship something at the end of the year? What do you think, IDR? Uh, I'm in favor of, uh, I'm in favor of the latter of opening the window back up and having a release that actually has some stuff. What do you think, Peter? Anybody else have an opinion today? Any, any other distribution maintainers? How about the Sun guys? Oracle. Excuse me, the Ol or Solaris guys. You will always work for Sun in my heart. <laughs> think we Won't care. Awesome. Consensus by apathy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's what this group is good at. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's make that, uh, let's actually write that schedule down then. Um, plan on closing the merge window on for Halloween. Um, plan on closing the non-critical bug fix window for um, U.S. Thanksgiving and plan on shipping the release as a Christmas present. The midsummer, midsummer party in Australia, right? You writing that down for us, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> no, our wiki will point at your article. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, absolutely, yeah. And uh, we'll, I'll put that in the Zorg uh, Google, Google Calendar. Does everybody know that we have a, a calendar on Google that has the Zorg release dates? Yeah. I don't know how to get invited to that. How do you find, ca I, how do you find calendars in, in Google Calendars? Okay, yeah. Oh, does somebody want to paste it in the IRC channel? Yeah, not Canadian Thanksgiving, because Canadian Thanksgiving and Halloween are very close to each other. <laughs> Whoa, that's tricky. So I didn't really have a lot else to discuss in this um, other than uh, just making sure that there was nothing we were missing. If, if 
other people have bits of code that are nearly ready to land, um, please let us know. It sounds like we're going to be able to merge stuff in. Um, I'll show you what's going on with DRI 3 and present. I don't think having the first version of those, which is to say the DRI 2 replacement is going to be any trouble to have uh, ready by uh, the en in another month. It's basically running today. I need. I would love to have another GL driver uh, demonstrating that it works for them before I merge it, but other than that, it's pretty good. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> not interesting yeah well yeah it has to it has to work but it doesn't it doesn't doesn't it would not demonstrate any weaknesses any interesting weaknesses <laughs> okay <laughs>